Welcome to Scale Model Basics. I'm Aaron Skinner, and I'm going to be taking you through the steps of painting a World War II aircraft cockpit. Now, these steps should work for just about any aircraft from that time period. The first thing I like to do is assemble all of the parts that are going to be the same color. That way I don't have to worry about scraping them later or anything like that where the glue might interfere with the paint or the paint might interfere with the glue, either way. So on this, to me, a 148 scale Doatine D520, I have assembled the cockpit parts that all are the same color. In this case, the cockpit, I have glued the floor, the back wall, this section that goes inside the rear windows, the control stick. The last thing I'm going to add is the rudder pedals. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue in this rudder pedal. I just gotta get it uh, located, there we go. And then we'll take a little glue. So now I'm ready for the paint booth. I'm gonna leave the seat and the instrument panel separate on the sprue and paint them there so I can do some touch-up work with them, some detail painting on them in an easier way later. So for the base coats for the interior, I am using Tamiya acrylics. Now, that doesn't mean you have to use Tamiya acrylics. I'm using them because they have the colors I need. You can use just about any paint you want to for this. It's just about getting it on the model. All right, the base color's on, so now it's all about picking out details, which I'm gonna do by hand using Vallejo paints primarily. So those are all the details picked out, and I think the model looks pretty sharp. Yeah, I know, a lot of it is very dark blue, but that's the reality of the air, the, uh, this aircraft. So I'm just gonna stick with that. The next thing I wanna do is apply a wash to deepen some of the recesses and start to enhance the detail. So I've applied the Tamiya panel liner wash and now I am going to use uh, some clean enamel thinner to clean up the excess and refine the way it looks. Just take some clean thinner on the brush, wipe it off every now and then so that you're not transferring dirty thinner all over the place.
Next, we're gonna pop some details with dry brushing. We're gonna use Tamiya Medium Blue. It's a nice contrast to the dark blue and should help really pop these details in a very dark cockpit. Obviously, the idea of dry brushing is to exaggerate and contrast the highlights with the dark background. If you want to know more about dry brushing, check the link in the description. And that should pretty much do the dry brushing. Now we're going to put the decals for the dials on the instrument panel. Microsoft will go a long way to settling these over the molded detail on the panel. All that's left is to put it together. I'm scraping the paint from the attachment points for the seat and the instrument panel. So those are some basic methods for finishing a kit cockpit. Now obviously there are some differences depending on what the aircraft is. This one had a very dark blue cockpit, so I used black for the wash. If I were doing an interior green or bronze green cockpit, I would probably go with a brown wash. But the techniques are still the same. There are many other things you can do with a cockpit, adding photo etch detail, 3D printed details, but this is a quick way to get that kick cockpit finished so you can get on with the rest of the model. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.